This is an interesting booking for ITV, their first ever Celebrity Big Brother, because obviously the show began on Channel 4, then it was bought by Channel 5, and now this is ITV's first foray into the Celebrity Big Brother world, and they need some big bookings. And this is a big booking. Yes. Uh, if it is true, as the rumours say, mm. that Gary Goldsmith is entering the Celebrity Big Brother house, and he's been seen at the ITV studios and said to have been seen at the hotel with the other cast uh, members, this is quite a coup for ITV because he is controversial, he is well-connected, he's outspoken, and there could be a lot of secrets that he could be revealing. There certainly could. I, I, I wonder about his motivation because it is said that, you know, the, mo the motivation for doing Big Brother is twofold. One is um, you need the money. Uh, you haven't got any money and you need some. The other is you need the exposure because your career needs a revamp. Now, he's got lots of money. Didn't he sell his business for £17 million? Yes, and went on to buy some fast cars and a, a, a villa, Maison de Bang Bang in Ibiza. And um, look, I, I think it's more about the attention, really. He did want to go on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here uh, in the past as well. Mm. He, he's not shy and retiring. The one thing in the royal family and in the Middletons' favour is he's actually very loyal mm. uh, to them. And he talks about Kate as his adored niece. I think he'll have plenty to say about Harry and Meghan when he's in the house, but could be very interesting and pretty embarrassing for the Middletons, certainly. I fear one of the uh, problems with booking a guest for Big Brother is that you often book them, or the company often books them on the basis that they hope they'll say X and Y, only when they get in there, they're totally stum and they don't say it. And of course, you can't make them once you're in there. You know, the company, however much they're paying you, can't compel you to say something you don't want to say. So the question is, will Gary Goldsmith deliver or will he be incredibly discreet, enormously loyal and a terrible disappointment to ITV. You're absolutely right. They want Gary Goldsmith to spill all of the beans. And actually, I think that he will. But like Sarah said, he will remain loyal to the Mid Middletons and certainly loyal to the Prince and Princess of Wales. And I think, in fact, he will have a lot to say about Harry and Meghan. And that's probably the beans ITV will want him to spill as well. Because after this, he does want to be able to continue a career in this vein. Uh, whether or not he has money in the bank or not, you know, he'll be doing this for the reasons of he wants to be known. And even though he is known, he'll be more known after Celebrity Big Brother. And he definitely will have a lot to say about some members of the royal family, but will be the right members of the royal family, so to speak. I don't think we can expect to see or hear any drama about the Prince and Princess of Wales. I think he will remain staunchly loyal to the Middletons. And actually, it's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that he will have a few things to say about. But you're absolutely right. ITV want him to drop some stories. Mike Tyndall did really well, and I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. You know, we heard a few snippets from him, nothing that was too embarrassing, and we sort of got to know him better. And actually, he was well-liked before and came out well-liked after. But I think with this particular person, with Uncle Gary, he's definitely going to, to drop some nuggets, but it will be about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. As far as I'm aware, Sarah, nobody's really heard his accent. We've never really heard him speak. We don't really know uh, much about him apart from, a, you know, these no, few nuggets. He's notorious, of though, mm. isn't he? I mean, you know, he was caught up in a tabloid sting back in 2009 for alleged drug taking right. uh, in Ibiza. In 2017, as you set out, he was uh, convicted of assaulting his fourth wife. He um, is certainly not shy in coming forward. And I think, uh, as Afia was setting out, he, he, he will want to be known uh, for this. Um, but he has apparently been read the riot act by big sister Carol. Uh, and it will be interesting to see what he holds back on. Um, what they've done, though, the Middletons with him, is quite interesting because they haven't cut him off altogether. 2009, as I mentioned, the news of the world sting. Actually, two years later, he was at Kate and William's wedding. He also went to Pippa's wedding. He wasn't invited back to the house for the reception afterwards. But I think they've played quite a clever game that they've kept him loyal and close-ish. He certainly isn't a Samantha Markle, you know, Meghan's half-sister, yes. who's doing interviews left, right and centre, uh, you know, criticising her. I wonder, though, why 
he's decided to do this now. It's been quite some years, obviously, when he might have had the opportunity to do any kind of reality TV that he wanted to do. And this is just the moment when, of course, his lovely and as he calls her, his adored niece, has been very, very unwell and is taking many, many weeks to recover. And you might have thought that out of kind of sensitivity, loyalty, a feeling of what's right and when, when the appropriate moment is, he might not have done it right now. He may. We don't know, though. He may have applied several times before. But you don't really you apply. Know. That's well, not really how it this, works. But with, with the these jungle, things. he had certainly made it known he wanted right. to go on. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Yeah. So I think this is probably a path he's been trying to tread for some time. The timing now of him going in for ITV, of course, with all of the intrigue and questions about the Princess of Wales. You know, we discussed last week mm. the you know the social media conspiracy theories. Obviously, for ITV, that makes him a big booking. I mean, I fear you think that he's going to talk about Harry and Meghan. Do you reckon he's even met Harry and Meghan? Do you think he knows anything about them that you don't know or Sarah doesn't know? He's hardly an expert in the Harry and Meghan field, is he? Oh, no, he's absolutely not. But he has his opinions. And because he's considered, you know, quote unquote, within that royal fold, um, he thinks that he is an authority and people will take what he's saying seriously. And actually, like you're right in saying the Middletons have been quite smart in that they've kept him at arm's length. But they have kept him within that fold enough to be loyal, but not enough so he has, you know, access to all the royal secrets. He's not, you know, in all the royal corridors. He doesn't know any, everything, but he knows some things. Uh, and those things he won't spill the beans on because he's been given a little bit of access. But instead, because he is associated with the royal family, he probably thinks that he's an authority on Harry and Meghan and will die now on that opinion. And that's another way of him inadvertently supporting the Prince and Princess of Wales. Because, you know, it can be so divisive. Apparently, if you like one couple, you can't like the other. And he's going to play up on that 100% uh, and, and play into that divisiveness. I mean, it, it is going to be fascinating to watch him, isn't it? Because he, you know, it, it all depends how deeply he cares about upsetting his sister and how deeply he cares about upsetting his niece and how desperately he wants to be famous in some capacity himself and how he thinks that's going to play out. Because often when you're, I mean, I've, I've done Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother twice. I did, was in the very, very first ever one and then I did it again in the ultimate one in 2010. And there's certainly this feeling that every time you breathe, a camera clicks round to record it. You clean your teeth, there's a camera recording it. You know, you say good morning, about 20 cameras were into action. You feel very important for a very, very short time. Mm. And you might also go in with a plan of, I'm not going to say this and, and I'm going to keep these secrets. Have a few drinks and then say it. Yeah. Or so get persuaded. Get persuaded. The other, the, one of the other ways in which it works, of course, so successfully is, particularly in the Big Brother house rather than the jungle, there are vast swathes of time when nothing at all happens. So boredom sets Yes. In. You can't you read, it. you can't write, you can't go for a walk, you can't make a phone call, there's no TV, there's no music, you talk and talk and talk. And if Gary Goldsmith's the kind of guy that likes to be an entertainer, likes to be the centre of likes attention... Likes to show off his connections. Exactly. You feel find yourself, even though you think you know what you're doing, after a certain number of hours, you're kind of all, you're, we're pretty much losing the will to live, you start telling a few stories. And forget that the cameras are there. Don't forget, because you can see and, and hear, hear them. them. But but I, I made the mistake, I mean, I made many mistakes, obviously, as everybody knows, but you make the mistake of thinking, oh, they won't use that bit. Mm. They definitely won't use that, but you think you know what the editorial is. You think you've got some idea mm. of the storyline. Of course, you've got no idea whatsoever what they're going to do. And when you come out, when you watch, you're like, oh, my God, I didn't know that was happening. I didn't realise that was happening. So it may well be he thinks he can really play it and he might come a cropper. On the other hand, it might be one of those things I fear where the whole country falls in love with him. And that, shockingly, may happen. You never know. He might come across as really endearing. He might have great stories to tell. He might not bash anyone. Might exactly. stay away from bashing the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and stay away from bashing in the Prince and Princess of Wales and just, you know, tell all these great jokes. You never know, but, you know, he still is someone that was convicted of, of, you know, assaulting his fourth wife. Doesn't mean that he's not a nice person, but people might have that in the back of their heads as well, you know, when he's on the show. Um, it just, it all depends on what happens in those boredom hours, like you said. But yeah. I think he is the type of person that will 
play up on those royal connections and he will be spilling some stories most certainly. Surely the producers are going to be trying to get those stories out of him. Can't do it. When you're in there, they can't do it. It's yeah. not kosher. They can't make you say, once you're in, you're in. They can't really summon you to the diary room and say, listen, you're not telling any stories about blah, blah, because they have to preserve the illusion that mm. Big Brother's a real thing. So they can't give you a, a secret talking to, or at least they're certainly not supposed to. That's not, that's not cricket. Thank you both very much indeed. Definitely watch this space.